my lovely little bindlings, my name is Wingy and today I'll be going over the best action MMORPGs. Before I continue, do note I will be going in no specific order and therefore the last MMORPG on my list isn't the best. Quick question before I begin, what do you guys think is the best action MMORPG right now and why? Leave a comment, I'd love to know. Uh, Blade and Soul, why are you so good? It's so hard to find a good MMORPG nowadays, let alone one that ticks all the checkboxes, aka good graphics, story, and combat. Well, Blade and Soul has all of that. It's got beautiful, large, instanced areas to explore, fantastic combo-based combat that keeps things interesting, unless you have ping problems. Then every battle can be your potential death. And the story is great so far, filled with cutscenes and some cringy voice acting at times. Did I mention all the plot twists? There's a lot of plot twists. Soul Worker is a fast action MMORPG. And whilst it is in Japanese, you can still play it like any other MMORPG. You simply need a VPN and apply an English patch. Both being something very easy to do. Soul Worker is worth the extra hassle though, as it has an amazing combat system. The skills are fun and flashy, the monsters and bosses are challenging, each class has their own unique playstyle and weaponry. It definitely has one of the best combats found in any recent MMORPGs. Fast-paced combat isn't the only thing Soul Worker does right. The game itself uses beautifully cel-shaded graphics, which blends perfectly with the anime theme. Terra is a huge fantasy action MMORPG, one of the very first and probably one of the only successful open world action MMORPGs currently still going. Terra, having been released way back in 2012, is still used to describe what real action combat is like. For good reason! Each class has a huge amount of skills that can be chained together and customized. Tons of classes, some of which are gender locked, which kinda sucks, but pretty much every action MMORPG does it. There's also a huge selection of armors and outfits that change depending on your race and class. Terra also has a huge world to explore, with two continents with at least 20 unique regions to explore, most of which allow you to fly. Guild Wars 2 is a beautiful MMORPG. It's huge and fast, although like Final Fantasy XIV, it has loading screens between zones, which doesn't really detract from the game, personally. In Guild Wars 2, there are dynamic events spawning constantly in every zone, keeping players of all levels sticking around. The combat in Guild Wars 2 is a mix between traditional tap target combat and action. For example, while fighting as a melee fighter, you can swing your sword freely and use your skills without targets. However, targeting monsters does make it a little easier. Ranged attacks are locked on, unlike melee characters. However, if another monster gets in the way, they'll be hit instead. So it's not traditional, nor is it the typical action combat. It's its own style of action combat, which makes it very unique and awesome. Dragon's Nest is an instance-based MMORPG, where you'll spend a lot of your time in the dungeons fighting against mass hordes of monsters, and finally, the boss. Like most typical action MMORPGs so far, right? However, what Dragon Nest does extremely well is combat. Dragon Nest has one of the most smoothest combats found in an action MMORPG. Not only that, but it's fast and flashy with lots of variations since Dragon Nest has 9 jobs, all of which can upgrade into more powerful jobs as you level. For instance, you start as a warrior. After enough levels, you can progress to a swordsman or mercenary, both with their own job advancements and unique skills. Fantasy Star Online 2 is a Japanese sci-fi MMORPG, and much like Dragon's Nest or Vindictus, it is instanced. This doesn't really hinder Fantasy Star Online 2, as the areas or world you can travel can be quite large. Whilst Fantasy Star Online 2 is an instanced MMORPG, it's not lacking an in in-depth story. In fact, out of most of the action MMORPGs I've had the pleasure of playing, Fantasy Star Online 2 seems to have the most engaging story. Fantasy Star Online 2's combat is great. It's got flashy skills, it's got class customization, a huge amount of weapon types and classes. The only problem regarding Fantasy Star Online 2's combat is 
Once you've found what skills work best versus X monster, it can get repetitive. And the fact that some of the normal monsters found in Fantasy Star Online just stand around, not attacking much, making them virtually a punching bag. But don't worry, as the bosses will no doubt kick your ass. You're no doubt shocked by the fact that Vindictus is on this list. Okay, sarcasm aside, Vindictus is widely considered THE action MMORPG. The one all action MMORPGs tries to, but ultimately fails at meeting such high expectations. So what exactly makes Vindictus' combat so great? One of the reasons is, while fighting, it actually feels like your attacks have an impact. The bosses are powerful and can kill you fast if you're not paying attention. You have to manage stamina, fight too much and you can't run or dodge, don't attack enough, and the boss can freely fight you. So there's a lot more to Vindictus than just smacking large monsters with a stick until they die. While Vindictus may be lacking in other areas, combat isn't one of them. Critica is an anime-inspired action MMORPG, and like Soul Worker and Vindictus, is instance. The instances function the same as most action MMORPGs, aka you're in a quest time, you take quests, then you travel to said dungeon and kill monsters. While this may sound simple and not very appealing, it's actually quite a lot of fun. The combat in Critica is really fast, and you can chain your skills together, making them flow fluidly without much downtime. Originally, I believed Critica to be a very easy action MMORPG. However, with the release of Critica and A, my opinion has changed as the bosses are quite challenging and very fun to fight against. Graphically speaking as well, Critica is a very pretty anime MMORPG. I will say that the instances do seem very straightforward as you generally follow along a straight path. Revelation Online is a beautiful MMORPG released just this year. Its open world is insanely large, it's graphically beautiful, and the combat is fast and fun, if a little awkward at times. See, Revelation Online's combat isn't traditional action combat, in the same sense that Black Desert Online or Terra. Instead, Revelation Online's action combat blends in a mixture of tab target and action combat to make a more unique, if a little more, difficult variation of the norm. Which is good, as providing different forms of action combat makes for a separate, more entertaining experience. Black Desert is, unlike most action MMORPGs released, a sandbox. In Black Desert, you're given the freedom to do whatever you want, like becoming a fisherman, or sailing the ocean, or you can just straight up hunt monsters. Whatever you want, you can pretty much do. Not only does Black Desert give you the freedom, it's absolutely gorgeous. The graphics are top tier, and so is the combat. The combat in Black Desert is fantastic, although it can be complex to those new to the action MMORPG genre. Most skills have a combo required to unleash said skill, like uh, holding S whilst clicking your right mouse key. You can always opt to having them on your hotkeys as an option, but your hotkeys are limited. Another thing to point out is once hitting a certain level in Black Desert, your chosen class can become awakened, which will give your class new skills, and for some of the classes, even a new playstyle. That's it for my list of the top action MMORPGs. If you think I missed something or disagree with one of the MMORPGs I've listed, feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. As always, have a good night, day, or afternoon, wherever it is you are. And I'll see you guys in the next video. We fell out of love like shooting stars came crashing down. And we're building back up again now. I see your heart, see your mind.